gonna do, do like a little play yeah. of the intro. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Mel and Tink's channel. <laughs> Sorry, that was so stupid. <laughs> Hi! I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Hey guys, welcome back to Mel and Tink's channel. Today we're in Mel's bathroom. Welcome, welcome. Saturday night in. Yeah. It's raining outside, so we thought we'd get together, hang out, and have a little spa day. A little pamper session. Yeah face masks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're going to try the Nair hair removal mask. Yes, this is a new product that's come out. I've heard lots of things about it. I went and actually bought it today. It's actually $11, so it's not that expensive, but I got lucky with the last one. I could, I can't believe that you managed <laughs> to secure the last one. I know, one. I got really lucky. This video was meant to happen today. Yeah, it was meant to happen <laughs> today. And Mel and I both have really different hair stories or yeah. hair journeys. Yes. Why don't you kick us off? Yeah, sure. So I am pale, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and my hair is dark, as you can see. So this is my theme throughout my entire body. Would you say it's thick? Yeah. yeah. So it's really thick, it's coarse, it's stubborn. It's also like extra deep into the hair cell, yeah. which I've been told. So yeah. my hair to get removed, I've tried lots of things. I've done waxing, I've done shaving, which I do on the weekly basis. Laser hair removal, which is very, very expensive. Also other leg creams, but this one has some claims I really want to put to the test yeah. um, and just see how it goes. Mm. Um, what about you? Well, look, I'm not pale. Yeah. Um, I'm not dark, but I'm kind of somewhere More in between. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not an overly hairy person though, and my hair is not fine, but it's not thick. Again, somewhere in between. Well, yeah. I predominantly shave. I shave probably once a week. I've tried laser hair removal before, yep. but more on the bikini area. That was great. I had to stop it because I went on Rakuten mm -hmm. um, and your skin becomes quite sensitive to the light. So I stopped that and then I just never started again for a number of reasons. Yeah. And you can't go in the sun and now yeah. we're in summer in Australia. Well, it's meant to be, it's not yeah. today. Yeah. Generally speaking, you can't go in the sun. So why not try a product that's cheap? Yes. Convenient. Convenient, fast, and you can use it anywhere you want to go. So that's that's why the Nair hair removal cream appealed to us. Yes. But I guess we've got to really try it exactly. before you buy it. That's right. Which is what we're doing for you. Yeah. I am actually going to be trying it on an area that it's not advertised for. Ooh, how dare you? It's I'm gonna try it on my arm hair. Now I've had arm hair all my life. I'm maybe surprise, show surprise. You. Yeah, try to get up there. It's there's not a lot beautiful. There's not a lot of it, yeah. but it is actually longer than it looks. It's quite long, it's quite thin and fair, and it goes lighter in the sun. Mm. I've never really tried to remove it except one time where my sister, who has much darker skin and much darker hair than me, suggested I burn it off. I wouldn't recommend that. Don't do that. No, no it, it smells it. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it would smell like when you straighten yeah, it. Yeah, it smells yeah. terrible. So I'm keen to try something on my arms yeah. that's going to be easy for me to remove and it's not going to grow back coarser mm. or like a different colour. Mm. So yeah, I, I think we've got to put it to the test. Yeah. A lot of products they say they're made just for your hands, just for your arms, just for your legs. We don't believe that. Yeah. If it works for your legs, we're assuming it's going to work for your arms. And if we can save you buying five different products for your body, we're going to do that. Should we perhaps review the packaging and yeah. just kind of see so what it claims for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. Alrighty, so this is the Nair Leg Mask. Beautiful. No, there we go, go. Yeah, no, yeah. This yeah. is the mask in all its glory. So let's have a read. Mm -hmm. So leg mask, exfoliate and smooth. And then it says 100% natural clay and seaweed, which we're all down for. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Maintain smooth, beautiful legs for longer. Mm, I wonder how long it lasts. Yeah, exactly. Is it, like is how it longer than shaving. Well, this is the thing. It's literally saying that it's going to reduce hair regrowth. That's really interesting. It's an interesting claim. So it says removes hair and stubble, mm -hmm. moisturizes and exfoliates. So great. Yeah. And then we've discussed minimizes hair regrowth. It sounds great. Yeah. It really sounds great, but I'm too curious. Good to be true. <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if we told them. Um, I'm going to try it on my legs. I don't have the longest leg hair at the moment. I did shave, but I wanted to test it on stubble because this is often where the leg hair treatments don't work. They don't work on stubble. So I'm expecting bare, moisturized, and exfoliated legs. What are you expecting? 
I'm also I'm expecting much the same. I actually have a fake tan. Ultra dark fake tan. Mm -hmm. Is that the foaming one? It's the foaming yeah. one. So I'm curious to see how my skin reacts with the fake tan mm -hmm. on and the nair, and to see if it removes the fake tan as well. Watch this space. So we're gonna make all the mistakes for you, but um, get comfortable. Put your own face mask on if that's what you feel like doing, and get comfortable and check us. Get rid of some hair. We'll yeah, see you guys in a sec. Bye. We are back. Welcome back. We just tried the hair net. No, we call it again. The nair nair hair leg. removal. Nair leg mask. Nair leg, leg mask. mask. Okay. Nair leg mask. Nair, nair leg, leg mask. mask. Welcome back. We just finished trying the nair leg mask. It was an interesting experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, I think it came on really smooth. Yeah. It had a nice smell to it at first. We'll get into that a bit later. It had a nice feel. It was cooling on the skin. Yeah. It felt like a little slight tingle right yeah. at the start, but nothing to be concerned about. Yeah. I would expect, I would always feel concerned if I didn't feel anything. Yes. Yeah. What, what are you then doing? Yeah. So I like to feel my products doing something. That's me personally. So I did like that little tingle. We waited 10 minutes, it went by quickly because you're in good company. Yeah, I think, I actually think it was a, quite a pleasant experience. I wanted to just say we didn't waste any water. Which yeah, was really which is really nice. Which is really nice. Yes, so I. Because usually I shave in the shower. Exactly. What yeah, did you I, think? I had a similar experience going on positives. Mm -hmm. It went on really nice and easy. It smelled good. I had a slight tingling sensation, mm -hmm. but not. Painful. Do you I mean, like that? Do you also like when your product? Yeah, I think I'd like to know that it's working. I think, like, yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense, but it is pain. That's when I know it's working. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the, the application process mm. was smooth and easy. Yeah, definitely. In terms of the amount of products, I think I we just half. Yeah, and that was we kind of really went at like as the directions um, yes. guided so, us suggested. suggested. Mm. We applied a thick layer. I don't know what that means. Mm. We kind of have to go, yeah, yeah just, just by guess. touch. So we kind of apply, almost like putting on a mask. Yeah, and, and you have to put it in your palm. Yeah, it said put it in your palm, which is a bit awkward because it's it, like that. It's really weird. It's like your that's fingers. an applicator. Yeah. So I was like, why don't you just give us an applicator? Yeah. That's it's probably not. a criticism. Yeah. If they had a little spatula inside, just so you could actually yeah, like create, sure. make the product go a further way. Half of the product we wiped off our hands. Um, yeah, that's right. So, and that's another thing. Yeah. It was quite difficult to kind of apply, and then you have to try and wash your hand with, with one hand mm. because you were obviously turning on the thing, and then mm. and, and I had to help you. Yeah. <laughs> It was a bit. I don't know if we're a bit like we need special help, but <laughs> uh, we had trouble getting it off our hands. Yeah. So I think when it we is are quite moisturizing, yeah. which is awesome. That's because I don't now need to moisturize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess like in terms of its efficiency. Oh my gosh. We waited ten minutes as directed. It said no more than ten minutes. So we did exactly 10 minutes on the dot. Like good little girls. Yeah. <laughs> and as we were removing it, I could see my hair coming off. Like in but like balls. Yeah, yeah, I could see, because I had quite a lot of arm hair. It, yeah. was, it was thin, but it, there was a lot it was of hair. I could see it coming off in clumps. Mm. Mm. It was like on my towel, I could see like just hair all over. Which is what you want. Like this is, look, it, it, it did cause a bit of a mess. These are our towels. Oh yeah, I have, um, I have clean mine. Yeah. But so get get ready for having green on your towels, but that's fine. I'm fine with that. But in terms of hair removal, yeah, very effective. I'm so impressed. I'll, I'm just gonna come up there yeah. and show you my arm hair. Give them a little treat or lack thereof arm hair. So it's like an amazing before and after right there. It's gone. Give it a little touch like you did so they can see that their hair's moving. Yeah. It's just smooth like a baby's so butter. Like a dolphin. <laughs> like a dolphin. <laughs>
So I would definitely um, say that I was very impressed with the removal. I had the stubble, as Talia mentioned before, so that's all gone, which I've never had before in any other creams that I've used. There's always something left over, yeah. or there's like two well, Yeah, shaving is just so hard. Like yeah. you don't know for sure what you've done. You're like, yeah, yeah, it feels yeah, yeah. good. And then you're going out and you're like, oh, there's a scissor. Like, and then like a line. Yeah. And you're like, oh. Yeah, it's oh. nice, <laughs> Yeah. What we want to mention, disclaimer, yes. is the smell afterwards. Yeah, yes. so we actually didn't pick up on the smell. We got used to it. I think we got used to it, but it was more so application process, smell fine. Yeah. Taking off, mm. something happens, there's some kind of chemical change, mm. and there is a distinct, you know like when you go to like the provincial hot springs or something, and there's yeah. like a sulfide yes, smell? Yes, it's like a, like a hot, hot sulfury, yeah. chemically smell. It's, it pretty much smells like other hair removal cream, but not at first. So well done there for hiding it at first, mm -hmm. which is pretty good because your brain does get used to the smell. Yeah. It's like after seven minutes, you'll get used to a smell. Yeah. So they did well with that. What made us smell it was someone else commenting. Yeah. So someone yeah, like else coming in and going, digs in what here. have you like, been doing? Do <laughs> like thinking we've been like farting on a story, <laughs> um, which we may have been, but we won't get into that. I, I think all of that aside, yeah. highly recommend. Yeah. Um, what would you give it out of 10? I think for me personally, I, I think I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is I don't think it necessarily needs to be green. If they want us to remove it with a towel, don't make it green. Yeah. Do you know what I Unless mean? Unless that is Unless what it, it like should be green because you're it, it, it. But yeah, I, don't, I, don't I don't know about that. Yeah. So if, they, if it's green just because of the claim that we want to believe it's seaweed, we're happy to take its word that it is seaweed and make it clear. Or make it like a, a lighter colour. I get that they want you to see where you've applied it, which is why it's a distinct colour from your skin tone. But just, you're going to go through a few towels. Yeah. Like I don't, I'll talk about it back in another video, how we get rid of, get that out mm -hmm. right now. I was concerned that the towel was going to shake hair. Lose hair. <laughs> Uh, what would you give it? Um, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, it was definitely efficient in removing hair, which is why I've given it a significantly higher score. Yeah. It's lost a couple of marks on two different reasons. One is the product amount. It's yeah. just not enough. And I know it was relatively cheap, $11. $11, yeah. Um, but I'm, between us both, we've used more than half, I would say. Definitely. And I know I'm sh I'm shaving my legs once a week. Yeah. So it, I'm just trying to think from an economic point of view. I probably get how many? I get heaps of uses out of my shaver. That's right. I probably only get two to three uses out of that near hair yeah. um, remover. So it, yeah, that doesn't incline. Like yes, it's effective in removing hair, but so is a shaver, mm -hmm. and I, it's cost effective. It's better for my hip pocket. If it prolongs regrowth, well, that's something we're that's gonna something have, we'll to have to get back review to review later yeah. on. It minimizes. Yeah. Um, Generally, in a week, I know yeah. that I will have stubble and everything back. So if that doesn't happen, I will believe the fact that okay, maybe one bottle will last you two months of hair yeah. removal. Well, and that's Which something that like, it's gonna have to. Yeah. We're gonna have to consider. Yeah. And if you've tried the Nair product and you have anything you want to tell us, let us know down below. We're happy to hear from you. Um, we'd love to hear what you all think as well. Um, it's really interesting to just share ideas and work out. And have you tried on an other area, mm. um, such as your arms? Or your face. Yeah. I mean, I'm not telling you to, but if someone has tried it on their face, we'd, we'd love, to, love know. to know how that went. Yeah, because yeah. I think it can be a universal. Yeah. Um, can be for your entire body. It can be a universal product, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, universal for your body. <laughs> so we hope you liked this video. We'll see you next time in our next review. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Cute. That's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sean!